Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, it's your girl back with an update of my net worth. So, um, in the month of February, a whole lot of changes went on. And in March, there's going to be a whole lot more. It is what it is. But let's get into it and let's see if the student loans got discharged. Which they didn't. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. But we're going to talk about that when I get down to it. Okay, so as you can see, here's a list of all of my current assets in green and all of my debts in red. Um, if I scoot this over. So my home is there, 291. My car, this is February's numbers all over here. So I had $364,959 as... Assets with a debt total $301,618, which would leave me here with $63,341 net worth. And then without the student loans, $164,474 net worth in February. Now let's talk about this crazy month of March. So when you slide over here at March, if you go through my assets, they kind of start looking all the same and changing with fluctuations of the stock market however i'm missing the forte the new car so got the car home and realized it didn't have remote start and i was just like um this was when it was cold in tennessee so if you want to talk about me in the comments go right ahead but um i've had a remote start on my car for a number of years now cannot imagine going back to running outside in the cold to start a car will not be happening. So I requested that they come get that car. I was um, buying the car through Carvana, so they didn't have a problem with that. And then I was gonna get another car, but it was gonna cost more money. And I was like, okay, I keep just going higher and higher with purchasing this car. And I'm not sure I wanna spend that much money on the particular car. And if I was going to spend that much money, then I was considering just buying something just brand spanking new so that I could have the full warranty from the manufacturer and things like that. And yes, I'm aware of all the issues going on with the new cars and not being able to get parts in and stuff like that. But for me, maintenance wise, um, I just feel at this time with the used car prices being so overpriced, I don't see the point in not buying new personally. So neither here nor there. Okay, so I sent the car back. Needless to say. So that made my net worth drop. So, well, my asset total drop. So now my assets are at $344,503 for the month of March. Okay, now let's look at my debt. So I had a lot of debts listed over here on the left from February and it decreased in um, March. This is because I did a debt consolidation loan. So what I did was I took my high interest credit cards and then I rolled them into one loan with my credit union at a lower interest rate in order to pay them off. So my um, Olo card, most of my Target credit card, and my Best Buy card, I rolled all three of those into um, my NFCU loan and so the loan was initially for four thousand dollars um the remaining balances on the cards one i left a balance on best buy because it's at zero percent interest that was six hundred dollars and i have i believe 10 more months to pay off that six hundred dollars however then i use the best buy card um, because it's just a visa card as well and i used it when i purchased my son's letterman jacket he'll be a senior next year so when i purchased this jacket i put it on the credit card because they couldn't tell me how much the jacket was going to be and i was just like i'll just throw it on that card because i already know it's at zero percent interest and then i'll just pay it off once i see exactly what the total is going to be so that's why it's 941 dollars here because the 600 dollars and then the new $341, which I will be paying that off in March. And you guys will see that in my March budget. Um, for Target, the reason why there's a balance on that one is because I just calculated incorrectly. So when I was calculating on the numbers, I don't know what I was thinking. 
but I was making some payments at the same time as well as, you know, applying for the loan, which it didn't take long to get the loan approved. But I don't know what I was thinking, but I miscalculated. And so I was just like, okay, I had made also, I think it was like three payments in one week and the Target red card would not let me do another payment as well. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just put it off until my next due date, which will be March the 3rd. And so this 500 will be paid off by March 3rd. So there should not be any more interest in accruing, accruing on the Target card because I am paying that off by the next due date, March the 3rd. Anyhow, all that said, so here we go. So I have $344,503 in assets. I have $270,467 in debt. Forgot the main reason why you all are here. The student loan discharge. What happened? Okay, so last month, right here, $101,133 student loans. This month, $99,175. So my student loans are in the process of being discharged. What Fed alone decided to do, don't ask me why, um, part of it is my name, my last name, my maiden name versus my married name. Some of my loans are in my maiden name. Some of my loans are in my married name. And they just want to give me a hard time. I'm convinced of it, but it is what it is. And I'm patient because eventually they will have to discharge them because I qualify. That's it. That's all. Anywho, back to it. So the difference between these two is about almost $2,000. The reason that is, is because Fed Loan decided to discharge and zero out my interest on the loans without discharging the loans. Make it make sense. Anybody, please in the comments, make it make sense. So needless to say, I only owed $2,000 interest and the remainder was for actual loans that and funds that I received for my education. I do have a master's degree. I have an MBA. And so um, with my undergrad and my MBA, I was at about $100,000 worth of student loan debt. This is after I have paid some of them off. I paid off seven loans. So if anybody want me to go into all that, leave that in the comments. I would think about doing it. It's very tedious because I had, I think, 27 loans at the time when I counted. You can go back and look at the video where people call me stupid and everything. It's in there. But needless to say, so that's why there's a reduction in my Fed loans, but they have not been fully discharged. Um, it was supposed to be the 21st. That was on a weekend. And then they said they got the information on the 22nd. So then they said, give it two weeks. So. In March, if my student loans are not discharged, Fed Loan gonna have to see me. They they really gonna have to talk to a sister because I don't know what else to do, but I am patient because I know that I qualify for the forgiveness. I know that it is in process because evidently they've reduced it by $2,000, which for me is drastic, but on this balance, don't look as good, but... It is what it is. So that leaves me $344,503 is my assets. $270,467 is my debt total currently. And so my net worth right now is $74,306, which is over $10,000 increase in one month just because I took off a stupid car purchase. Thank you, Lord. And then without the student loans, it would be $173,211 would be my net worth. So as we continue to go on this journey, I will update you guys in April, hopefully without student loans, because if they do what they said they're going to do, they should be gone. If they do not disappear, I will be on here ranting again as to why the Fed loan is playing about my discharge but neither here nor there i'm grateful i'm thankful for everything that has transpired and as we work on this i'll also let you guys know that your girl got a piece of a job so my new job and new income that will be coming in my budget update when i finally get a check 
and then I'll be applying that to finish off this target that's going to be done on the third um, by my other income and then this best buy one will likely be knocked out I'm not sure since it's zero percent interest I go back and forth on that all the time but then I will definitely be focusing on my last credit card and my personal loan that um, is really a debt consolidation loan so thank you all for watching if you got questions comments leave them down below in the comment section and see you in the next video bye girl bye we out